So in today's video, we're going to be looking at how the new Casper coin ASIC from Bitmain actually affects the network when all the orders are put through. So as we can see on the Bitmain website here, if we go on Antminer and scroll down, we can find the Casper K heavy hash ASIC. So it's called the KA3 miner. And when we click on it, it'll take us to a page that shows the specifications here. As you can see, we're getting 3,188 watts and that gives us a hash rate of 3.8 terahash on the K heavy hash network. Then there's payment methods for you to pre-order it and it's going to be shipping out in August. So that's when the hash rate from these miners should be hitting the network and that's in August. So today I'm going to talk about how this is going to affect the network, how much profitability we're actually going to be seeing and the emission schedule of Casper coin that could affect how much we're going to be making as well. So firstly, the price of these, I know it's been quoted a million times and been shown a million times, but it's looking like it was $100,000. This was on the mobile version of Bitmain. So if you clicked on the mobile version, it would display these miners as $100,000. They now took that off of the actual phone website. So you can't see that anymore. I'm sure they're going to reduce it because of the backlash that they got for just displaying it as $100,000. You know, they would make a killing if they did sell it and people will still buy the miner. Now, the reason that most people would still buy the miner is because they've seen the profitability per day. And as we can see here, it says $2,296 per day. And then in a month, it's around 70K. And in a year, it's around 826K. Now, remember, that's only for one of these miners if it was on the network right now. However, when all of these actually get shipped out, as we can see here, you can actually order some soon. So you could get them on subscription in bulk or something like that. When they start to get sold, when they actually start to sell and get onto the network, it's going to actually increase the network difficulty and hash rate. So these two go hand in hand, which will actually decrease the profitability of all other miners on the network. So GPU mining is definitely going to be out of the question when all of these hit the network. Now I'm going to assume some numbers for this calculation that we're about to do. So just bear with me and let me know in the comments if you think this is a good calculation that we can do. So I'm going to go with the fact that Bitmain are selling 2000 units of these Casper coin miners. Now it doesn't really matter about the price. It just kind of matters about how much hash rate is going to hit the network. So right here we have a mega hash calculator. So 8.3 terahash, which is what the Bitmain ant miner KS3 can do on the network is looking at 0.0083 petahash. Now the network currently has around 1.14 petahash on the network from GPUs and FPGAs and maybe some other ASIC miners that have come onto the network lately, like the Superscaler. However, the hash rate calculator, so we have 0.0083 better hash for one of these miners. Now, what we need to do is actually do a calculation. So 0.0083 and then times 2000, because that's how many units I'm assuming that Bitmain is gonna release for this. If they release, you know, a thousand, you could just do the calculations yourself. Now, let me know if that's a good assumption, but I'm just gonna click enter. And that gives us 16.6 .6 petahash. Now the network hash rate is only at 1.14 petahash. So with 2000 units being shipped out, we're looking at an increase on the network of around 16 times. Now, what does that look like for profits? Well, in theory, the difficulty would spike and the hash rate would spike. So you would make 16 times less profit. So if we took this figure per day, which would be $2,296 per day, we'd have to do 2,296 divided by 16, which would give us $143 per day, which is still good. However, we actually need to factor in some other things on the network, such as the network block rate decreasing and the price of Casper coin at the time. So in terms of the emission schedule right now, I believe we're at 220 as our block reward, and it's going to go down to 195. So I'm just going to assume that that is a percentage of around 10%. So we can divide this by 100 and then times by 90 to give us 10%. So it's $129 per day. Still, you know, enough, but the difficulty is going to rise and there's going to be still continuing hash rate joining the network from also other ASIC miners and other ASIC mining companies, which will reduce the amount of profitability for these Bitmain ant miners. So realistically, when they all hit the network, which as it said here is in August, we're going to have the emission schedule. It's going to be 195 Casper per block. So we've reduced that now. 
And even with all that, it'd be $129 per day. That's at the price of Casper coin right now. However, Casper coin is on a low and it's continuing to decline right now. If we bring up a price chart here, we can see that in the last seven days, Casper has actually decreased dramatically in price. Now, a lot of people were saying that Bitmain actually start to mine on, and a lot of people were saying that Bitmain actually start to mine on the Casper network and on a lot of their networks before they actually release their miners so they can get a bunch of coins from it. Now, the only qualm I have about that is that Bitmain's best interest is to sell mining equipment. And if the network isn't healthy, as in the price of the coin isn't healthy enough to sustain these profits, then nobody would actually buy these miners. So I think it's kind of a reversed thing that people are thinking, oh, Bitmain is just going to mine on a bunch of these miners, grab a load of Casper and then sell off and then dump the profits. And Casper coin would subsequently dump as well. This is what people have been saying they did to Kadena. However, you can't really prove it. And it wouldn't make sense for them to actually do that because it's in their best interest to sell miners and they want to keep the network and the price of the coin healthy and sustainable to keep mining on it so that they have customers who will buy the next version of the Casper ASIC miner, which would be like maybe the KS4 or KS5, who knows. So there is that in mind. So I don't think that Bitmain are actually going to be, you know, mining on these before they hit the network or dumping coins or trying to manipulate the market. I don't really think that that is, you know, in their best interest, but maybe they're doing that. However, Casper coin price has been on a decline since the highs of around three months ago, I believe. Yes, yeah, so we're at 0 0.04 and now we're at 0 0.017. I wouldn't say you should buy in. I'm not going to give advice or whatever, but right now is probably a good time. It's probably going to dip down a little bit more, but if you think about it, you could make a good profitability by buying right now. And then if it pumps in the future, you could make some more money from it. And I also want to mention that I know that the price on the Bitmain shop was $100,000 or or $99,000. However, on the ASIC minervalue.com, we're seeing them going for $20,000 and $23,000, you know, around that range. So we can't really trust either one of these. I don't really know who's getting them or who's got the prices for this and from where. And it obviously says ROI is in 80 days, but that's going to be times by 16. So the ROI would look around 18 months if you actually bought it at this price and you were mining on that number that we calculated. I think it was $129 per day. So we're actually going to have a lot more ASICs join the network as well from uh, Gold Shell and stuff like this. I'm sure that they're going to make some as well. So that could also decrease the profitability that we're seeing here. Now, lastly, I want to talk about the possibility of having ASICs and GPUs on the network. So right now, as I said, it's at 1.14 petahash, and it's probably going to jump up to around 16 petahash just based on how many units they produce. It could jump up, I don't know, to 4 petahash. That would still be a huge jump in hash rate from these ASICs that are joined in the network. However, Ethereum was kind of an enigma where you could mine on GPUs, ASICs, and FPGAs and still be profitable. So maybe this could happen for Casper if it has a massive spike. The reason that Ethereum could sustain that is because they had such high market cap and such low energy cost to profitability. Now, Casper is nowhere near that. I think Ethereum is producing 20 million emissions per day, and Casper is only producing around half a million emissions per day. So if Casper starts to get up there in terms of you know market cap and profitability, we could start seeing GPUs come back onto the network and still be profitable. Of course, ASICs and FPGAs would excel. However, Casper Coin would still be able to sustain GPU mining if it had, say, a market cap of around 15 times what it is now, which I know is really high, but that would allow for GPU miners, FPGAs, and ASICs on the network, as we saw with Ethereum. However, we don't know what the future is going to hold. So right now I'd advise against buying one of these miners. I know the profitability looks really good, but you don't really know how the network's going to react. And also we don't know how much these are actually worth. If it was $20,000, that might be a good buy. If it's anything over $30,000, then I'd say stay away from it. They are super efficient and they are going to still make profits when they jump onto the network. However, you can't justify the ROI if it goes for $100,000. So that's it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about what I said in this video. And if you have any thoughts of ASICs joining the Casper network from Bitmain.